Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to keep working with our rulers in Pro Tools. Today's uh, ruler, uh, the one we're going to be explaining, is the key ruler. Okay, so what are what's the key? Okay, well, what are the keys? Well, typically songs are written in a single key. Okay, let's say a D major key or a C minor key. Now, there are situations in which um, producers or musicians will write a song that has a key change. I do that too. Uh, for example, you might be playing the chorus in a major key, and then when you switch to the verse, you switch to a minor key. And then you go back to the chorus, and you go back to the major key. So that's really up to uh, the songwriter to decide that. But in general, you can have one or more keys in a single song. So um, that is something that if you are, let's say, sharing this song with other musicians that are going to be recording their parts, you might want to have the key uh, written uh, somewhere as a visual cue so they know um, on their timeline when the new key is about to happen so they know they're ready to play the new the chords, you know, the chords um, associated to the new key. So that's what that's why we use the key ruler. Now, how do we show it? Well, just as all the other rulers, we go here in the top left, and if we click here, this little black, um, this little black arrow, um, you can see key ruler. Right now, it's unchecked, so you don't see it. But if I click there, it's now checked, and we can see it's set to a default C major key. Uh, just as a uh, general culture, or as a general reference, the C major key is the key in which the the key that is contained by all the white keys on a keyboard and a piano. So that's pretty much the easiest key ever, the C major. So by default, you know, Pro Tools is set to uh, this key. Now you can change that. So let's say, um, let's say that this is my song. Okay, I have some guitars here. They play that, and then they switch to... Okay, so there's no key change in this song, but let's suppose that there were two different keys here, okay? And this was one key, and then this part was another key. So how do you change that? Well, first of all, you want to be in grid mode, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and say that this first part of the song is written in D major. Let's say this was D major. Okay, how do you change that? Well, we go to the start of the session. We can simply press here and stop, and it'll take us, actually press return or enter. Return if you're in a Mac, enter um, if you're in a PC, and it'll take you back to the start of the song, um, which is pretty much a bar one, right? Bar one, B one. So, um, we want to change this to D major, we said. So we go here, key, press on that plus sign, and the key change is going to, uh, the key change window is going to show up. So here are a couple things that you want to make sure that you understand. First, you have to select whether it's a major or minor key. We said it was going to be a D major, so major. So you can see all these major keys here. So now we can select from this list the D major key. So major key, D major, and then it'll tell you, it'll ask you from where to where. Well, right now it's set from bar one, beat one, to wherever the next key signature is, um, which in this case we don't have another one. So if I just press OK here, it's going to create a D major till the end of the song. So we press OK, and it's set to D major, as you can see there. Now, we said that this was going to be the D major part, and then this would be the minor part. Let's say this is an E minor, okay? So we go ahead, make sure you're in grid mode, click here, which is the bar number 19, bar 19, beat 1, and then go back to key, press on that plus sign, and we said we're going to make it E minor. So we select minor, here are the minor keys, we go E minor, and once again, from where? Well, it's going to be from bar 19, B1, to, till the next key signature. In this case, there's no next, next key signature, so 
technically it's just going to be E minor till the end of the song. Once again, we want to have that snap to bar on. So it happens right there at the 19, bar 19. We press OK. And there's the E minor. So as you can see, it goes from D major to E minor. Now, as far as the sound, right, we have this audio already recorded. The audio is not going to change. But let's say that we had a bass player that was recording bass to this. We shared this session with the bass player. The bass player would know, hey, this part is D major, so I know which notes to play. And then this other part goes to E minor, so he will know, or he or she will know which uh, notes to play so that they are within that key. Now, another cool thing, uh, as you can see here, key has this little arrow here. If you click there, you can expand, and you can see the clef there. So D major and then E minor. You can see uh, the two sharps, and here only one sharp. So that's how you do your key changes using the key ruler in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.